So my name's Elisa Jolie, and I go to school with the artist Omari, and um, he's a really cool guy, you know, always pleasant to be around, always has something nice to say. Um, and it's really cool because when you see him, you don't really think he's this, no offense, but this super talented, cool guy, but he really is. Um, my favorite thing about this painting is the colors, they really like pop out and it looks so like, I don't know, very smooth to the touch. And the stars, they're not really too like overwhelming, but they definitely add an accent to um, the painting. And then like it gets brighter as it kind of goes into the distance, which makes you think there's more to come. And I like the texture of the brush strokes in like the whole painting. Okay, my name is Devin Grimion. I go to school with Amari and um, very cool guy, very chill, very talented. Um, this is really a good, exhibition that he put on here. Everything was cohesive out of all of them. This one is really the one that sat with me, Shepherd of the Lost, because the scenery really stands out. And that's what I also told him. It was something about the scenery that stood out the most and the way that he builds around characters, like the characters you see them, but they're kind of small. But with the scenery, it's telling a story. It's an overall story. And that's what I really like about it. It's a fantasy. And he also spoke on um, imagination. This is something that you can definitely imagine, like on a show or something. So I really like it. The whole exhibition was really nice. I just can't take my kids out because I'm bored and the baby should be coming. 
Well, that's Max. Oh, the Max. I feel like I got a shuffle later.
Yeah, and it's kind of hard to look at graphite. Graphite is awful. Mm-hmm. The fact that he was able to like build that shit. Mm-hmm. Water soluble? Oh, yeah. Water soluble? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I know the second I go into it, I'm like, I'm just going to be like, I just finagled here. I don't know what that is. It's like, you can't not. I'm going to go to the point. Yeah, you know. summer program, his very first job, I believe it was, and he taught some of the migrant children how to do some of the art, the, uh, the, the wire art with the uh, little stick men, and it was a great experience for him as well as the children who were under a person who was near their age, and I knew that Omari would, would do great things. I even visited his home once and I saw his room and it was full of different types of art. So he's always been interested from my uh, perspective in art and has always done a great job. I also know his parents very well, Mr. Uh, Reverend Arshiel and Mrs. Arshiel, who are both, who work, one who works in the district and who is a counselor. And I love, I brought my two nieces, my 10 year old and my 16 year old, who are students in the system here in Natchitoches. And I brought them to see Omari's work. And of course, I 
I wanted to support him as well. And we love the, the gallery that he has completed to satisfy graduation. And I think it's, it's a, it's a uh, high accolades to him, a young man who is moving successfully toward, towards graduation. And I'm very pleased to be a, a part of his life and to support him in this gallery endeavor. So I'm Omar Yashu, I'm the artist for the night. Everything, every work here is my work. Um, I'm very pleased with how many people came and turned out and showed their support for me and my work. Overall, I think I'm most proud of this piece right here. Very, I like how it came out, how it pops out of the page and how it comes toward the viewers and flows back into it. And there's just more to the image. The little man here that shows who's really being hunted and the birds that are like krill of the sky for this giant leviathan. And that's all I have for y'all.